Hello. My name is Roy Olson, and uh, I am a graduate of uh, Hunter College at the University of the City of New York, and I graduated with a uh, degree in uh, physics and mathematics. I have been a uh, student of uh, physics and science all my adult life. And I would like to say a word or two about a, uh, a man whom I've uh, seen quite a bit of on YouTube and read up on quite a bit. His name is William Lane Craig. William Lane Craig, in my estimation, is a man of significant intellect, academic achievement, and really brilliance. He brings logic and linear thinking to a high level that uh, many would aspire to. His insights and his uh, presentations are spectacular. And I've heard him in uh, academic uh, debates with those with whom um, uh, they would hold an opposite opinion to his own, and indeed with uh, class distinction and in honorable ways, he has held his own, and indeed, uh, I believe, has prevailed simply by the power of logic. The man does hold a doctorate in uh, the uh, field of philosophy, which includes the study of logic and uh, in theology. Of course, theology means the study of theos or of God. He's uncannily dis uh, dispute in uh, the uh, subject of uh, science, astrophysics, and the theoretical physics particle physics, and uh, it wouldn't be surprising me if he has indeed taken significant uh, courses and training in uh, the area of science, because to hear him uh, go head-to-head -head with eminent scientists is absolutely remarkable. It would not surprise me if he has a third doctorate to his list of achievements in a doctorate of theoretical physics or astrophysics or something of the nature. So I have seen someone publish his debates with very derogatory <coughs> headlines about how he's been uh, embarrassed or humiliated or something. Absolute nonsense. The man has uh, conducted himself with great poise and elegance and is to be held up amongst us as uh, an example of a brilliant mind with incredible communication skills and a great debater. And that's my opinion. Thanks for listening.